All right, I tried to start this video so many times, but I'm just gonna get straight into it. Today, we're gonna be talking about seat belts. Not specifically just seat belts, but seat belts versus racing harnesses. And uh, that's gonna be a little difficult, but I have a friend and I think he's gonna show me around a car with some racing harnesses. So uh, let's just go. Okay, so before we get to my friend's place, let's get a little introductory lesson into this. This is what you call a three-point seat belt. It's one, two, three points holding you down into the seat. Now, it's standard in all pedestrian vehicles, but it was invented by Volvo in the late 1950s to prevent you from flying out of your vehicle. And in race cars, it's a lot different. Even though my car is loud and bumpy, it's not exactly a race car. A race car deals with real high speeds and really high g-forces and so you really want to maintain yourself inside the vehicle in case of any accident and so in a race car you have more than three points of contact in a seat unless you know you're in one of these and you turn this into a race car but in a normal race car you definitely want four five or six point harnesses and a roll cage just in case you get into an accident because you definitely don't want to fly out. And so we're gonna head there right now and uh, I don't really know what's in store, but we're gonna find out. Okay, I think we're here. Oh, oh my God. No days off. What no days the off. No days off. Yo. First and the very last one at the gym Spark man at the ring Say I'm just starting, I beg your pardon You can't pull a fast one and miss the fring Some say he's the life of the party Cause when he pulls up from the party begins Me and my dog, you're partially twins If you ain't play a part, then it can't be a win Going from shows to my lectures Holding my head, I was losing my sleep Alright, here we are Here's my friend Hi And uh, he's gonna tell me a little bit about his car Yeah, so this is a GT3 RS That uh, my wife and I track uh, We're really into that and uh, so Steve's experiment is Steve or Steven? Steven. Um, is all about the racing harnesses and the safety setup in this car. Um, so I don't have my Hans device here right now, but this is kind of all linked together. So if you look closely back in here, there's a roll cage and this is anchored to the chassis of the car. Um, so when we're on the track, this three point belt kind of gets tucked around the back here. And then when we hop in, I'll demonstrate. Um, we, uh, we get pretty well strapped into this thing. Um, I have kind of a, a non-traditional harness set up here with where my cam lock is, just to make it more streetable. Um, but basically, these all lock together. Got lap cross straps and then through the center. And then over the shoulder, six point harness. Now he's strapped to the car. Yeah, and so at this point, there's really not a lot of motion. Um, it's, it's pretty restrictive. And then when you add the helmet um, and the Hans device, there's anchor points here to where the, the Hans device goes under these straps and then anchors you to the seat and then anchors your neck so that in the event of a crash, um, the weight of your, your helmet under multiple G's doesn't break your neck. Nope. Nope. <laughs> so believe it or not, this gets very heavy um, when you hit a wall. So yeah. <laughs> that's the whole point of a Hans device or at least part of it. But it basically keeps you completely constricted to the seat. Yep. Um, and then he was mentioning a little bit about how the harnesses are strapped right over his shoulders instead of like a little downwards yeah. like that. Straight basically. line's always better, right? Yep. Um, that way you don't get like a weird leverage point where the seat wants to, uh, the belt gets cut by the seat or anything like that. So uh, straight line is, is typically the best. Yep. And if you also notice, he does have a three, three point harnesses as well because he likes to street this, but harnesses for the track. So, yeah. best of both worlds. Yeah, it's actually a really comfortable setup once you get in here. 
and you get used to it, it's kind of crazy the first couple times you do it. But with this setup, you're kind of like one with the car. Uh, when you have a good seat um, and a good setup, it, it really allows you to feel the motion of the car when the, when the grip of the tires lets right. it go and steps out a little bit. Um, you can catch slides a lot quicker um, because you can kind of feel it, um, call it like a butt feel or yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it does kind of help you feel the rotation of the car. Right, because you're basically strapped straight to the car. Yeah. So now you feel everything and of course this is a beautiful, beautiful car and he drives it. He drives this a lot. He beats the hell out of this thing and yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. And then we've got the emergency. Uh, the other thing that's yep. great about these, um, this is a, a regulated device that the FIA has certified and all that stuff. So that, that is so, FIA certified? Correct. Um, and it's designed to just immediately. Oh, nice. They all just pop the car, off. Like, just like that. Nice. And then you can egress out and it's not like restrictive. Whereas in the event of a crash with a three point belt, a lot of the times there's a pyrotechnic device um, that kind of locks the belt in yeah, position. Yeah, basically to keep you from hitting your face against that windshield, it'll right. keep you right in place. But Yeah, so it can be difficult to get out of a traditional belt setup, um, but this, this one is very quick. I mean, you just grab the cam lock and there's just a little- Right, and you just twist it looks like. Yeah, there's just a little rotation here. Oh, nice. All good? Um, and then you just- Nice, oh wow, that's- it. Super easy. And it's it's designed to where you're not gonna hit it on accident, but it's easy to find. It's always right. in the same spot, obviously, so you can get to it and, and hit it. Yeah, and like, let's, you know, you hit a wall at 100 and so miles an hour, you know, quick jump out the car, Yeah, you know? Fires happen and crazy stuff happens. It's not right. Like quickly. He, he was telling me a little bit about, um, just he, he just got this car back a few days ago, and yeah. you want to tell a little bit about what happened? Um, I blew up the engine on the track. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, In uh, events like that, you know, like if anything, it could have been a little worse, you know, you could have had a fire. Yep. So that's... There's, there's actually a factory fire extinguisher. Oh, is there? Car. Um, I don't know if that's... Check this out. That at all. It's kind of cool. Um, and that, again, it has kind of a... It's tucked away in a spot where you can get to it from the driver's seat. Oh yeah. Um, that's something we practice is getting to this to be able to use it. Um, there's just a quick release button here. You toggle that and you can pull it right out. Nice. Um, so luckily we haven't had to use that. Hopefully we won't have to ever. Um, but that's yeah. something that Hopefully. Porsche thinks of uh, because a lot of their customers with this type of car um, actually use them on the track very right. frequently. So. And that's the one thing I love about this car is that he uses it so much. like. I don't want to say, how many thousands of miles have you put on this, or? Um, I've driven this, I think, 13,000 miles, There roughly. we go, yeah. there we go. See that? Yeah. Drive your cars, people. Even if they're race cars, right? <laughs> Even if they're race cars, yeah. put some miles on them. But yeah, I thank you a lot for showing me around this car and helping me with my project. And uh, I hope this class enjoys that, you know, got to look at a cool car today. Got to, you know, check out a car with racing harnesses. Believe it or not, it is very hard to find a car yeah, with racing harnesses. So uh, I, appreciate, I appreciate you a lot. No problem. So, thank you and uh, enjoy.